New at 11, deadly and confusing words some drivers in Maryland have used to describe Route 50 in Anne Arundel County after a number of fatal wrong way crashes. Tonight, the state addressed what's being done to make the road safer. WJZ is live. George Sol is getting a closer look at those improvements. George? Yeah, Mary, around 22 interchanges along Route 50 have been upgraded with more reflective signs. And though wrong way crashes have been a problem on the road, the data shows that when they've been fatal crashes, alcohol has been a factor majority of the time. Whether it's been day or night. The car just went the wrong way heading towards the Seven River Bridge, dodging oncoming traffic. Wrong way crashes. Some fatal on Route 50 in Anne Arundel County have become a concern for drivers like Kathleen Tracy. And is it just a confusing road? Yes. Maryland State Highway officials report since May 2017 through September of this year, there have been four fatal crashes, all at different locations along Route 50. The most recent crash, September of this year, an SUV going the wrong way, slamming into a motorcycle. See, late at night, you know, people leaving the bars. State police say alcohol was a factor in that crash and two others. We're actually up 36% on DUIs this year. So that's a huge uh, factor, and they should know that, that we're out there every day and we're enforcing the DUI laws. Each time, these are different potential entry points. At a forum Wednesday, state highway officials addressing concerned drivers, letting them know that after every crash, changes have been made to old and outdated signs. In total, some 22 interchanges have been modified. Aside from the signs now being lowered to the ground, one of the things that should immediately catch your attention, the reflective red tape. On Bush's frontage road, the difference literally night and day. We need to pay attention, really pay attention. Drivers say they're encouraged by the changes, but want to see more done. Now it's likely LED lights will also be added to some of the signs. Now state highway data also showing that when the crashes were fatal, it was usually in the mornings and the drivers typically younger. Live tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ.